Hey everyone and welcome back to this Wikipedia. Uh, today we're back in the cube as we're going to install some steering wheel controls. This model of the cube doesn't actually have steering wheel controls so I've ordered these little guys off eBay uh, which basically just have a little double-sided sticky piece that sticks onto the steering wheel. Uh, so we're going to try that out. This is the little controller box. So these are little wireless controls, uh, which have a CR2032 battery in each of them. Uh, they claim that it will last up to two years of use, but we'll see about that. We won't know for a while, I don't think. Um, so the first thing we need to do is pull the stereo out once again, which is fairly simple. Uh, I've done it a few times now. Uh, so we'll do that. And after that, we hook up the little control box. So it does have, I think, five different cables. So you've got power, ground, oh, there's four cables. Power, ground, and uh, control one and control two, or key one, key two, uh, which I've just quickly wired up to a 3.5 mil uh, audio jack. So hopefully that'll work out. I haven't actually soldered anything yet because I'm not sure which way around the cables are going to go. Uh, but we'll pull the old stereo out and find out from there. Uh, if you haven't seen how to get this out, you can definitely take, check out the install videos from when we installed the stereo. If you don't want to do that, it's really simple. You just pull the ashtray out. There's two screws at the bottom that need to come out. And then this thing just pulls straight off. And there's just a little clip for the hazard lights up here, which just needs to be pushed in. Of course, I can never actually manage to do it properly. I'm just grab a tool for that. Flathead screwdriver will do it. Lighter. Just need to take out the four screws that hold the stereo in. Try not to drop anything. Alright, once those four screws are out, the stereo will just come straight out. I'm not sure if I can angle it around enough. Towards the back, next to the microphone input, is the input for the steering wheel controls. Uh, obviously, double check with your stereo manufacturer if your unit is actually capable of handling steering wheel controls, so I'll just plug that in. Now, this little control box obviously needs power as well, so I'll have to wire up the red cable to the auxiliary power, and obviously black to ground. Uh, so I'll have to pull that out. I'll just use the existing wires on the stereo to do that. up the ground and accessories wire uh, so hopefully our little control box should have power we'll just turn the accessories on turn that shit off okay so <clears throat> the Pioneer system gives you the option for a steering wheel control without adapter. I'm just going to go for Japanese car. And with any luck, we should be able to program these little guys to the corresponding buttons. 
So it's volume down. Hold that for a second. Uh, mute. Left and right, so that's pretty much that one. And on the other side, so it's got a GPS button. I'll probably just program that to the microphone. So if we need to talk to Google Assistant or, or Siri, hitting that GPS button will bring that up. Seems like the most logical choice. Uh, obviously, there's a little phone button, so off hook, on hook, stop. I guess we'll program that to I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Let's just program that to the phone. And in the middle is a little M button, so I'm gonna actually program that to A V source so that when you hit that or cycled through radio or Bluetooth audio or whatever. Um, so that looks like it. Let's give it a test. So yeah, hitting that M button will go to radio and then, as I said, Spotify, whatever's programmed on the head unit. Pushing the stop button will open up a phone book because that's just basically taking the phone or turning the phone function on. Off hook and on hook don't seem to do anything because we're not in a call. Probably noticed there was a random pause there because hitting the Google Assistant button automatically brings up Google Assistant on my phone. Uh, so that was probably a bad idea, but that'll explain that. Uh, the rest of the buttons, obviously volume up and down. Uh, left and right will just switch through radio stations at the moment, otherwise it'll skip tracks if you're in Bluetooth audio or playing a CD, whatever you're doing. And mute, mute. Uh, so that's really about it. Obviously it's a really simple one today. Um, and these little guys were like 15 bucks off eBay, so it's a piece of piss putting them in. You can't really go wrong, as long as your head unit is compatible with steering wheel controls that don't require an adapter. And the cube steering wheel is almost ideal because it's got these nice little flat spots, so they'll sit perfectly on them. Um, there are other ones that I saw on eBay that sort of wrap around the steering wheel, so the controls are just on the inside. But I imagine that would get quite annoying because you'd be running into them all the time. Um, so yeah, I'd grab a pair of these if, you, if your head unit can handle it. It's definitely a goer. Uh, as always, thanks again for watching. I hope this has helped you out. Be sure to hit the like button if it has and you can subscribe. And we'll see you for more crazy Wikipedia adventures. Thanks again.